Thanks NeoVid for sponsoring this video. This is the most revolutionary sous vide cooker I have ever seen in my life. Today I will be putting it to the test by pushing it to its limit. First let's get this out of the way. It looks cool anywhere in the kitchen and even outdoors. Now here is where things get really revolutionary for me. It marinates vacuum, sous vide and searing all in one machine. So this means you don't need any plastic bags, you don't even need water and it's all because it has a built in chamber. You see it heats up the food using thermal radiation. It also has a built in thermometer which allows you to monitor the food in real time. You can set up the final temperature of what you want and it will cook low and slow until it gets there. Lastly, it is ridiculously easy to clean and it's all because of this nonstick pan. All of this sounds great, but can it perform? Well, let's find out. Let's start with something gentle to cook. Whenever you cook salmon sous vide, it's usually a little bit of a problem for me. The shape always changes. You get some imprints from the bag. Not good. So to cook this one, I'm gonna keep it real simple. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper, that's it. So into the container it goes and right on the top I added some lemon. Now I took it outside, open it up, place my container right Right in there? Of course I did not forget about the probe and my target temperature was to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. As that was cooking was perfect because it allowed me to go ahead and make a simple sauce. And we are talking about the balsamic glaze. To do this all you gotta do is throw in some balsamic vinegar into a pan and let it reduce into the consistency you are happy with. Usually for me half is good enough because in the end I was left with the perfect sauce. By this time my salmon was fully cooked. I went ahead and removed all of the lemons as it did its job because to finish this salmon off. I added some sesame seeds followed by the balsamic glaze we just made and of course a little bit of chives. Now this looks really nice as it kept its shape. At the same time you can see that it's still nice and flaky and just the way I like my salmon. Cannot wait to find out how it's gonna taste. But first let's cook a few more things. Next one is the chicken breast. I'm gonna keep it real simple. I went with a little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper, garlic powder and of course Italian seasoning. Now into the container it went because we're gonna do a real test. I'm gonna cook it to FDA's recommended temperature. We're talking about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And once their internal temperature was reached, this is what it looks like. Usually they are totally compressed. But hey, I don't know about you, I don't like white chicken like this. We need a sear and as you already know the first thing to do is to pat it dry really good. Once it was fully dry, now it's time to test the searing function. So I started by adding a good amount of avocado oil, threw in my chicken in there and let it sear. As you can see I started getting a little bit of color on my chicken. But at the same time, even though it was at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, as expected the temperature always drops when you add the food. But after about 2 minutes per side, I took it off and this is what they look like. I'll be honest with you, the sear could be a little bit better but at the same time I am so impressed how this chicken breast looks. The shape never changed, however is it still juicy? Well let's find out. So I went ahead and took my first slice and wow not bad. But in the end the most important thing is the taste. Is it gonna be good? Well we'll be finding out real shortly because I am not gonna eat just chicken. We gotta have some steaks and as you can see this is a beautiful New York strip. I kept the seasoning real simple like I always do. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now I wanted to do something extreme with this machine as I will be cooking 2 proteins at 2 different doneness at the same time. For that I chose a pork tomahawk. I season it exactly the same as I did with the steak. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As you can see now they are ready to be cooked. Here is how I am gonna do it. I will be placing both of them at the same time in the container. First I will be cooking the steak at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. I will stick my probe in there and let it cook. Once the internal temperature was reached I took it out and as you can see it looks perfect. However the next thing we gotta do is to finish up cooking the pork. So I raised the temperature to 145 and let it cook. Once that temperature was reached I took it out because now they were both ready for the sear. And for that we gotta pat it real dry as you already know. Once that was done I added a good amount of avocado oil in there, let that thing preheat as much as possible and started with the sear. Now I am used to extreme heat for this, usually I do with charcoal or my flamethrower. So this is gonna be a real test for this machine. As you can see it's doing a very similar job as a cast iron skillet on a stove. How about the pork tomahawk? I did the same exact thing as the steak, 1 to 2 minutes per side no more than that. And in the end this is what I was left with. As you can see I got a beautiful golden brown crust on that pork tomahawk. The steak on the other hand I want you to be the judge. So I first started by slicing the pork tomahawk. And as you can see man this thing is juicy. But let's not forget about the steak. If there is one protein that we like best is steak. So we are really gonna be able to critique this one as much as possible. 
possible. Now you're probably thinking, how much does it cost? Well, you can go to their Kickstarter page, which will be live from September 6 to October 6, and get it for half price. They will also have available in Amazon. So if this machine calls your attention, now is the time. And if you have a big family, they will also have a larger model available as well. Thanks NeoVid for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to check all of the links in the descriptions down below, as I don't know if we will ever see another machine like this again. But now that you know all of the information, I say it is enough talking, and it is time to eat. All right, gentlemen, here we have our beautiful feast. I got Leo, the description, the guy. Hello, guys. And I got David today in the house. How's it going? How many times do you cook sous vide a week? I cook sous vide probably about twice a day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, that. That's right. Guys, I gotta say, David is one of the best chefs I know, so what he says on this video, you can tell that it matters. I appreciate it. All right, so here's the deal. I'm testing the new machine. You guys saw that new machine over there in the front? Yeah, I think it was looking fancy. That futuristic looking one? Yeah, it looked real that fancy, everybody. Cool. <laughs> so I cooked every single protein I had available. I just want to know the texture, how it feels. You just guys be as honest as you can. Sounds like a plan? I am always up for a video like this because this is a lot of food and I'm really hungry. With that being said, enough talking, let's go for it. Very good. Well, I say we start out with the fish. You like salmon? Oh, absolutely. You see, that's the thing. It's super tender. I like my salmon a little bit under the underside. I don't know how you like yours, David. Crispy skin, nice and acidic, that's all I need. This one had no skin, unfortunately. I wish there was some skin to test hey. it out the searing section. I gotta say, guys, smells very delicious, but I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. You guys ready to go? I'm ready to go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh man. Oh, come on. I thought it was tender just by putting my fork in it. Taking a bite is a whole nother level of tenderness. Guys, if you didn't tell me that this wasn't cooked sous vide, I wouldn't have known. I agree, it's very pillowy. Falls apart in your mouth beautifully. You got the right amount of fat, the right amount of fish, and whatever herbs you got on there are coming through so nice. How do you like that balsamic reduction? It gives you the perfect amount of tart in the bite. I say that turned out very good. I liked it. You liked it? Liked it a lot. Loved it. Now let's go for the worst. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, y'all hate chicken, but I'm a chicken lover. You are a chicken lover? I love chicken breast. Baby, we don't like it anymore. Get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's my problem with chicken. I eat it so often, you get sick and tired of it. That's my problem with chicken. Yeah. Sous vide chicken. How many times you had it? <laughs> Too many times to count. <laughs> All right. Let's dig in. All right, let me serve you here, David. Cuts very nicely, I must say. Absolutely. Smell delicious because I put some uh, Italian herbs in there. You see what I'm saying? Super aromatic. Yeah. Let's give the chicken a go. Cheers, everybody. Oh, man. Oh. That's juicy. That's beautiful right there. <laughs> chicken lover. Love me some chicken. <laughs> Congratulations. Why? This is a delicious chicken. Really? This is really, really juicy. The crust is a little bit lackluster. But other than that, this checks all the boxes. This is really good. I like what you said, Leo. The sear is not really there. At the same time, is it cooked right? Yeah. Yes. I don't think I need that uh, that skin as much because to me it resembles more of a, a rotisserie chicken type. It has that very classical herbaceous kind of taste where all of the aromatics just fill any kind of void of skin that you need. Couldn't have said any better. You might become the description guy, David. That's my title. <laughs> Now that we got these two things out of the way, let's go for the really delicious stuff, yeah? Pork or it's steak, which one we go for first? Steak. I mean, uh, pork. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Go, dig in, David. Please, dig in, everybody dig in. Thank you, thank you. I must say, this pork is extremely juicy, everybody. You guys ready to go? Absolutely. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, wow. That oh, is, man. so far, the juiciest thing we've tried. This is incredibly soft, extremely, extremely juicy. The flavors are perfect. We don't eat pork a lot around here, but you know what? Maybe we should start because this is awesome. I'm all about more pork chops. With every bite, you just get more and more of the juiciness from the fat that mixes in super nicely with the meat. There's nothing in this world I love more than the taste of pork fat. The pork fat just dissolves in your mouth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I gotta say, that one is very delicious, everybody. We all agree? Absolutely. Highly recommend that one. Now the big testament is the steak. Let's go for it. Guys, dig in, please. All right, slice very nicely. Feels very tender. Smells delicious. Let's give it a go. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Oof. I don't know if I'm just biased because I'm a steak guy, but man, that tastes so good. I get y'all's obsession for steak. This right here, <laughs> hard to beat. First of all, 
It is a delicious steak. Is it tender? Yes. Did it cook it sous vide? Yes, it did. There's only one thing that I don't like about it so much, and that would be the crust. I have to agree with you. Again, the same thing with the chicken. This crust, exactly like you're saying, is not up to our standard. It's still very juicy. It's nice and soft. Breaks apart super easily in your mouth, but the only thing that's missing is a nice sear. Here's the thing, whenever you have a machine that does everything in one, you're not gonna be having every single perfect items on everything. There's yeah. literally impossible. But the fact that you can replace a cast iron skillet together with a vacuum chamber, no bags again ever, and then the, also you don't have to worry about the water, you know what I mean? And you just put it in there, set it and forget it. That is something too for you to be thinking about. If I could, like you said, replace all of these machines and replace all of these things with one that does everything, how can you beat that? That's awesome. Thank you NeoVid for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.